Look at Gentry. Just staring at the ground. <laughs> That's what FPV looks like in real life. What's going on YouTube? Liam McGriffin here with Scale Adventures. Uh, I know I told you we were going to have some cool projects coming up for 2015, some new things if you saw my video, but I did not disappoint. Um, I, lately I've gotten into the drone scene, multi-rotors and whatnot, and I've actually got a drone here that is a little bit on the, I'd call it the edge of uh, working. I was flying this thing recently and took it up in the air and I was like, you know, this is, let's get an aerial shot, I have my GoPro on it, everything, I don't know where it's at, I think it's inside. I have my GoPro on it and I was like, let's fly it up, do an aerial shot. Um, took it up there, it was about the size of a dime in the sky and I was like, okay, that's good. Bring it back down, throttle down a little bit. Yeah, it didn't come down uh, yet. It came down, but not when I wanted it to. Um, it just kept climbing. And eventually, I guess it lost signal. I'm not sure what happened exactly. I think my lipo would have went out. Um, everything stopped. I couldn't tell it stopped until it was falling, but basically it fell a couple hundred feet out of the sky and landed on concrete. And uh, not bad though, for, for what it did, it didn't break a single prop. It didn't mess any motors up, none of the electronics. And basically it destroyed the landing gear. It destroyed My gimbal, that's what's left of my gimbal. Yep. It destroyed my battery tray. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So it didn't destroy my GoPro at all. It busted my foresail. I don't know where my foresail is. It busted the case open on that. Um, and then the worst part of it all, I had my GoPro on it to record it, and it ran out of footage uh, right before I started climbing up in the air. So kind of the end of the day, I already had a full memory card, and I was like, let's fly this thing around a little bit, get some more footage, and it just stopped recording right before that happened. So, if you're gonna do it, get it on film, you know what I mean? But anyway, so, uh, got into the world of drones, and I sent out some emails, and got in touch with a couple manufacturers, and a few of them were nice enough to send me some parts. So, we're gonna be doing a Scale Adventures multi-rotor build series for you guys. I'm gonna walk you through setup, planning. Uh, I'm gonna talk about how to uh, configure it, what type of setups there are, so you can kind of know how to choose between them, what you're wanting to build it for, because every drone has a purpose. Some of them are aerial videography or photography. Some of them are meant for acrobatics, uh, stunt flying, FPV, first person view flying. Uh, there's a bunch of different, some of them just want to build one just to hover it around their yard because they think it's cool. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there is so many different options available right now. So many different platforms to build on. Um, you can basically do whatever you want with You can make them full autonomous, make them fly without a radio. There's a crazy amount of things you can do with these things. They're basically PLCs in the sky. Um, and that's what I work with every day. My real job is programmable logic controllers, so um, this should be fun. But anyway, I'll show you guys what we got. Uh, we got in touch with Fortis Airframes. Maybe their logo is on here. I don't think it's on the cardboard box, but Fortis Airframes hooked us up with a complete frame kit. Um, and this is all laser cut Delrin. Really good quality stuff. Um, this right here is a vibration isolated camera mount. See if you can see that there. So we've got that. We've got their wall hanger. When you're done with it, you can hang it on your wall so you don't have to find a place to store it. We've got a GPS antenna mount. All, again, machine delivering. And the blue here, the blue is uh, masking tape. They put that over the surface of the plastic so that when it's cut, it doesn't ruin the uh, the finish of the Delrin, and also during shipping and whatnot. We've got a onboard camera mount. This is for like an FPV camera. We've got their actual frame kit. Now I've went ahead and taken all of the plastic off of this. Um, I just started messing with it the other day. I got excited when I took it out of the mail, so I wanted to take it apart. Um, they sent us some laser etched. Um, hoods that protect your uh, flight board 
So this is actually a tricopter, by the way. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Fortis airframes or not. They specialize in tricopters, and this is their Titan tricopter kit. So uh, I'll put a link to their website in the description, everything you can check them out. They sell really good stuff. Um, Gentry, my friend, has a Triton uh, tricopter right now. He loves it. Um, we've flown, he's flown my drone, my quad, and his tri. Absolutely loves the tri over the quadcopter all day. Uh, it's a totally different setup. It's got a different feel to it. It feels a lot smoother when it flies. We just really like the tricopter. So that's why we contacted Fortis and wanted to do a tricopter build. But anyway, main frame kit. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, these are the motor mounts that go on the end of the arms, and then we've got some 16 inch carbon booms. These are really nice, high quality, low weight. I mean, they don't weigh anything. Uh, let's see what else they sent us. They also sent us a wiring harness. I'm not sure where that's at. I must have put that in another box. But they sent us a wiring harness to do the frame. And then we got in touch um, with Brian over at multirotormania.com. I'll put the link to their website. These guys sell everything you can need for a multirotor setup. Not just tricopters, multirotors in general. They sell frames, they sell uh, accessories, flight controllers, uh, GPS systems, FPV systems, motor speed controllers, power distribution boards, wiring. All the little standoffs, nuts, bolts, battery straps, everything you can need, heat shrink. I mean, they are literally a one-stop shop for building a tricopter or multi-rotor, quad, uh, octo, hexacopter, whatever you want to build. One-stop shop. And they prove that by sending me everything I need to build this tricopter. Minus the frame, because we already had the frame. But they hooked me up big time. Uh, they sent props we've got props for days let's see here i think that's all the props one two three four five six sets of props we've got um, their own multi-rotor um, 20 amp esc speed controllers brushless speed controllers for the motors we got three of those oh there's the wiring harness from fortis airframes <clears throat> they sent us a power distribution board with the internal bec I'm sorry, two internal BECs. It's got uh, adjustable output. One of them I think is set at five volts and the other one is adjustable between, let's see here, three volts and 20 volts. So you can adjust your output for LED lights, any, any kind of accessory. If you got a gimbal that takes a certain voltage, let's say you're running four cell batteries uh, and your gimbal will only do 12 volts, you can step down the voltage through here, power your gimbal. Um, they sent us some of their um, power distribution boards. I'm going to use those on here for some accessories that I'm going to put on it. They sent us two of those, a large one and a small one. Uh, and I'll, I'll go a little more in depth on these on future videos, but now I'm just going to overview kind of what they sent us. We've got um, 2212 980 kV motors. Uh, these are their, again, their branded motors. Really nice brushless motors. They, uh, spun them, I spun one of them the other day. They feel real good, smooth. Um, so we got three of those. Put that back in the box there. One, two, three. They sent us a bunch of cool LED lights. They basically said go to my, um, they call it a bling section. It's just bling for your tricopter. It's, colors and you know uh, nylon standoffs and uh, heat shrink in different colors and LED lights in different colors and basically stuff to personalize your tricopter aside from getting it flying something to make it your own and make it different from every other tricopter so they sent us all this cool stuff and uh, I'm a big nut for LED so I went in there and I was like I want I want I want I want I want I want, I want. but anyway they're cheap so check them out I mean you get a lot of LEDs for literally no money um, they sent me this. This is pretty cool. This is a LED ring. You can see that there. It's traditionally used with the multi-Wii system, uh, but it can be used standalone as well. Uh, and basically this ring has LED lights. They're RGB, uh, red, green, and blue, and they're around the board. You can put this underneath or on top of your multi-rotor, and you can program it to do um, flight modes, different colors for different flight modes. You can have a GPS heading to where like all the LEDs will be green and then one LED will be blue and that'll be north. And then as you turn the tricopter or quadcopter or whatever multi-rotor, 
the LED, the blue LED will follow north. So you'll always be able to look up and tell what he, what, uh, where your heading is. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else did they send us? We got a Dragonfly 32 Pro flight controller. This is their 32-bit uh, flight controller. It's based on the Naze 32. Uh, it's kind of an acro. It's got a barometer. It doesn't have GPS built into it. Um, it has a uh, bunch of I.O. Um, USB on board so you can connect to a program. I think this has clean flight or base flight. I want to say it has clean flight on it, but I haven't looked into it yet as far as programming it. So um, that's that. Let's see, what else do we got here? We got a bunch of servo extensions. We got some more bling here, some red and black. I guess you could call this nylon ducting. It doesn't heat shrink, but you run your wires through. It's basically a sleeve for your wires. Got some red and black heat shrink, red and black um, battery straps. We've got their GPS antenna mount. We've got power wire. Got some blue LEDs, some red uh, nylon sleeve for your wires. We've got some red standoffs, another um, speed controller. We've got a Bluetooth module for your flight board. And what this will do, this will allow you to transmit all your telemetry to a Bluetooth device so you can read it. And Android has a program, I'll have to look it up and see if you remember what it is, but Android has a program for all you people that have Android phones. Uh, if you have an iPhone, you just shut the video off. No, I'm just kidding. But if you have an Android phone, you can, uh, or a tablet or whatnot, you can actually download software that will interpret all of the telemetry and show you kind of like an OSD, all your uh, altitude, speed, different different things like that based off of your GPS. So that's pretty cool. Standoffs. Um, let's see here. Another battery strap. More blue LEDs. We got a sorted pack here of red and black standoffs and nuts. And, and the reason they're not metal, they're all nylon, is if you come into a situation where you're going to crash, these things are your weakest link. So these break before any of your hard parts, any of your frame components. So they're made as kind of breakaway points. That way you can uh, rebuild it when it's all done. LEDs, uh, got some stickers here. This is their website, guys. You should check them out. Multirotormania.com. Once again, I'm gonna put a link in the bottom of the video so you can go there. We got some pinout board or some pinout solder joints so we can uh, bring all of our connections into the board. We've got a battery buzzer. Uh, there's one other thing they sent us. Let me find it. Give me just one second. All right, check this, check this out. This is a Cobb LED. I bought this, or they sent, I'm sorry, they sent us this um, I chose it off of their bling section. It's like five bucks normally, so it's not a bad price at all. And this is the brightest LED light you'll ever see in your entire life. I mean, it is insane how bright this thing is. 12 volt, uh, I'm gonna use it as a headlight on mine so that I can, at night, I can flip a switch on my radio, turn it on, and I can see everything I need to see in front of this tricopter. So it'll come in really handy for FPV flying if you come into an area that's not well lit, or if you want to do FPV at night, this would be a big help. So here's my four cell LiPo that fell out of the quadcopter. As you can see, it busted it all up. But anyway, uh, check this out. I'm gonna show you this light. Let's see if I can hold it and plug it in at the same time. All right, you ready? Holy cow. I'm trying to make the connection here. That is insanely bright. Anyway, so that'll be a cool light to put on the front of the uh, tricopter. But anyway, so that's basically what we've got. So everything we need to build a tricopter, now we just gotta start putting it together. So what I'm gonna do next in the, in the first video of the series, or the second video of the series, is I'm gonna go over the frame assembly, the Fortis airframe, give you guys a little insight on it, uh, some struggles or whatnot, some tips on how to put it together. Uh, there's a few things you'll need to know if you plan on getting one of these. 
they're relatively inexpensive uh, for what they are. They're really good quality and just, when I first got into it, I was expecting a lot more, um, a lot more parts and a lot less engineering that went into it. And this thing was really well engineered. Uh, it was, you could tell it was designed for certain breakaway points and whatnot so that you could reduce stress on the frame. But really good quality part. Uh, Gentry's wrecked his a few times and he's not broken his frame yet. Um, I think he broke a tab off of the landing gear, but that's which I mean that's kind of unavoidable when you do a hard landing on concrete. But anyway, so in the next video we're going to go over putting the frame together and then I'm going to start digging into the electrical components and whatnot. And we're going to get this thing flying and then we'll show you guys how to hook it up and put all the LED stuff on it, the cool add-ons and accessories. So. Subscribe to my channel guys, like the video, share the video with your friends. Uh, we're going to have more stuff coming for you, so we'll see you soon. Take care guys.